Hello, everybody. Welcome to No Lives Left. My name's Nerdy Friend, and we're going to play a totally new game. Yeah, it's The Outer Worlds, made by Obsidian. And immediately my cat busts down the door. Hi, school. What stream would this be if you weren't interrupting things? <laughs> Moving on, let's get started on a new game. Uh, shout out to Alaskan Kodiak for letting me borrow his uh, game. <laughs> Conversational subtitles. Uh, sure, bark subtitles. Cinematic subtitles also on. Alright, let's do this. I barely know anything uh, about this game. So, jumping in it blind. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master Right. What's Guma? Who is this guy? Is it Rick? Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay. Um, cool. So, Rick needs to find his Morty. So, I'm gonna give myself. This one could twist the Marauder's head off. Yeah. I like. Points are many three! <laughs> okay. You'd need a navigational computer to find your temper. Huh. Ooh, health regeneration. <clears throat> oh, hi, Skooma. Look at you! Look at you being so damn cute. Yeah, I would appreciate it if you didn't sit on the keyboard, though, sweetheart. There. Aren't you just cute? I don't know if it's possible to see this ball of cuteness. But she is resting her head on my hand, giving me the love face. Mm. So freaking cute. She cannot handle attention not going to her. Positive faction reputation reactions. I mean, that's always good. Let's see. Yeah, that'd be a lot of work. I really do want. I want some good attack speed. So, good intelligence, good charm, good dexterity, very good strength. That sounds good so far. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with this. Um, next. Skills. 
already starting off at novice. That's pretty cool. Points placed in the core skills will increase specialized skills. <laughs> my guns are not going to be very good. That's okay. But my heavy weapons is going to be all right. Hey, Skuma, come on. Stop venturing out everywhere. There you go. Bonk your head on that. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> Tried jumping down, she bonked her head. It's okay. She's still okay. <laughs> Block ability is going to be good. Intimidate's going to be awesome. Terrified. 20% chance creatures will become terrified and flee for 10 seconds after you kill one. Okay. My sneak's going to be ass, but my hack is going to be okay. Lockpick's not going to be great either. Inspiration's going to be good. Okay. I, I can get behind that. Uh, is it just pretty much telling me, oh, okay, I got two skills. Good. I need someone who can smack a little sense into this colony. Maybe not that. Let's see. My dialogue's gonna be good. Ever captured, I'll let you do the talking. Fuck yeah. Um... You had a hand in everyone's pocket. Hell yeah. I can get behind that. Alright, next. These uh, controls are weird. I'm not used to doing controller stuff. I Last game I played, trying to do a controller didn't end well. <laughs> Let's see. Do I have to pick one of these? No discernible aptitude. Calling this sounded like a nice entry-level career for a person of your skills. Expanding humanity's reach. Eh, b -b 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 -b. Drink effect duration. Persuade. Shock damage received minus 3%. That's pretty cool. Farmer. Dirt. <laughs> end ray damage. Oh, what's an end ray? I don't even know. Oh, career aptitude. Got it. I got it. That took me a minute, but I got it. <laughs> Um, science plus one, safety inspector, medical inspiration, which one do I want? Sub sous chef, okay, I'm going to put myself with... I think I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna do elevator operation. Yeah. Okay, appearance. Obs gonna be fun. Face. Yeah, we're gonna fix that face, okay? Too too innocent looking. I'm gonna make myself look like I seen some shit. That one looks like she's seen entirely too much shit. <laughs> that one just looks like a dude. What the hell is wrong with these faces? Obsidian, what are you doing? This, like, some of these look like they need to talk to the manager, like, right now. Yesterday. <laughs> I think I'll settle for this one and then fix it somehow. Okay, this bitch is gonna look like she's never seen the sun before. Uh, but not quite albino, okay? We're gonna... I like this one, but that almost makes me look like I've got fire powers, and I don't. These ones look innocent. I like these. Deceptively innocent. Brow horizontal. Uh, oh, okay. I see. Forward. <laughs> I love playing with these. This this might take a second. I had no idea that this was going to be a thing. <clears throat> I think I'm going to leave these uh, pretty much horizontal, but I'm going to make my eyes huge just because. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to make them slightly big, though. 
mouth size three points bigger than normal nose size eh. tilt. the tilt's okay width is fine I guess yeah sure We'll, ha we'll do that and then have, uh, we'll, we're going to fix that on godly hair. I like the color though, kind of. Please tell me there's a longer hair option. It's kind of longer, but it's all messy. How positively dreadful. <laughs> I think I'm funny. Here we go. That's somewhat longer hair. Come on, I don't want to look like a first year at Hogwarts or somebody who looks like a dude no long hair options no actual long hair options fine that one looks like a dude's haircut that one just looks like uh lounging about on a Friday evening right after work and a tall glass of wine. <laughs> All right, I, well, I guess we're gonna settle for this one. That blue and red, interesting. Oh, good, rainbow options. Can we like have a normal hair color, please? Sorry, I sound real cynical. It's just like, I want a natural look, thank you. It's almost what I want right there. One looks more like ramen noodles. This one looks okay so far. I might come back to that one. Old lady hair. And that's seriously all my options. I guess we're settling for this one. <laughs> Eyebrow style? There's <laughs> unibrow. <laughs> that's that's absolutely lovely. <laughs> unibrow variations. Good lord, I'm better off with none. <laughs> I cannot believe they put unibrows in here. Facial hair. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> man. <laughs> trashy I can make my character look. They call me gold dust. <laughs> that one just looks like I got my ass kicked. What is that? That looks like a carrot. This looks like a fish. That one's, that one's almost okay. What the hell is that? Is it Mardi Gras already? Ooh, makes me look nice and gaunt, like a fucking vampire. That just, no. Oh. Looks irradiated, splotchy, uh, rosacea, freckles, lots of freckles, more freckles, <laughs> splotchy. I don't look so good in this one. <laughs> what in fuck's name? I look frostbitten. <laughs> Yeah, this character looks positively glowing. And by glowing, probably mean puke. Like, like, bleh. <laughs> Again, another frostbitten one or an alcoholic, depends. <laughs> okay, looks like I got my ass kicked. Scars on the lip, bloody nose at a constant rate. Why? Uh, another injury looking thing. More injuries, injuries, these look new. What about old scars? Not looking like I just murdered somebody or got murdered. Yeah, all those, all those were like injuries towards the end there. 
thought about this one and I thought about this one. I think I'm gonna stick with this one. Dirt. Oh yeah, I look like I crawled right out of the grave. Not gonna do. There we go. Here's some scars. I don't want to look terrible, but I do want to have some uh, marks. Oh. The Joker one. Ooh, that screams originality. <laughs> you know how many people do it, though. I th that's one side of my face looks like I had a stroke. <laughs> oh, jeez. I have terrible sense of humor right there. Oh, it's on the throat. Ouch. That looks like acne scars. Lovely. Don't remind me. That one looks kind of neat but none really going across the eye like I really like. This one kind of does, but not, not quite the way I like it. This one's okay. I might come back to this one. This one's all right, too. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go with this one. Age. I can be young, and I can be incredibly old. I'm going to stick with young because it looks better. All right, next. What's my name? Enter my character name. Okay. <clears throat> uh, ah, screw it. I'll just give myself. It'll, it'll be just my name. All right, next. Summary. I'm going to be a beef motherfucker. <laughs> um, aptitude elevator operations specialist. So I do have a plus one in engineering already. So there's that. I'm pretty inspiring, uh, and I can persuade, and uh, I can I, I will beat the crap out of anything. All right, that sounds good. I will I will beat them. Not not with guns. I will come over there with a hammer and bop them on the head until they dead. That is my phrase. Bop them on the head and they dead. It works. Alright, so uh, Rick has picked his Morty and it's gonna be me, I guess. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. So he went to the edge of the galaxy and stole a body out of this uh, ship full of people that are left to die. Not likely, bootlickers. That's what that's the impression that I got there. Initiate skip jump. That's the impression I'm getting anyways. Terra 2 orbiting laboratory. Halcyon system. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for um, 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. <laughs> something wrong oh yes well not to worry i've pumped your body full of a special concoction i devised to keep you from dying so horrifically hopefully at all but uh, i guess we'll see yeah? unfortunately i used the last of my chemical supplies saving you i know it's a lot to ask but i must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, 
I see we're in position. Good luck. What? I have no idea what's going on. Well, that's a reassuring image. 60th anniversary of the Hope's disappearance. And he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Okay. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Okay, then crashed. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Oh, he did. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Well, he's dead. Well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Okay, so where do I start? I'm just kind of wandering around. I feel like this is kind of open world and invitation kind of shit. Alright, <clears throat> this is the tutorial phase. Everyone loves those, right? Jump, okay. Hi! Look at you, you're adorable. Wait, come back here. I want to love you. I want to name you Iggy. You're Iggy the space iguana. Where'd you go? There you are. Hang. Look at you, you're such a cute. Hey. Okay, bye. Bye, Iggy. I will come back for you, my friend. Are you Iggy's sister? Iggy's brother? Oh, I'm sorry. What the hell? Take. More water thug. Tall grass, rocks, or other cover to hide from enemies. Okay. Well, sneaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use tall grass and shit. The awareness meters over enemy heads tell you if they're unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Okay. Seems easy enough. Path to ship. Okay. Oh. You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Well, okay, wanna explain to me what the hell that was? Okay, that hurt. You have low health. Use emergency medicinal inhaler to heal. So that was meant for me to do that. As an excuse. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Okay. 
So it's still a patch you up. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Spacers, what? <laughs> oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Sounds to me like you got a low luck status. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. This is very reminiscent to uh, Fallout 3 in New Vegas and their uh, talk trees. Canisters by the entrance. Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go get help. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. <laughs> Alright, so I have a gun. Damage my ears! Ugh. That'll teach you. Anything to loot in here? No? Nothing? Okay, fine. Alright. <clears throat> That's not what I want to do. Is this the button that opens the menu? Ah, here we go. Take care of your TNL weapons and they'll take care of your enemies. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna. Yeah, hold that. There we go. That's more like it. My one-handed weapon skills uh, are the best. Okay. Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly while moving and attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Tactical time dilation button is the right bumper. Bam. <laughs> Give me your shit. New item view in your inventory. Don't care. Give me all this stuff. This bitch didn't have anything? Lame. Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lock pick skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your skill is high enough to break the security. You'll see him. Okay. Fuck yeah. Just taking all the things. Alright, let's see what's in this. What is this? Space or choice? It's a two handed melee. I like. P 
pre-built mining gear. That would do good for my stealth skills, but I don't care about that right now. Just gonna stick with the hibernation suit. I got all these cords hanging off of me. Might as well chop those off. It's weird otherwise. Eh, it's whatever. You can have botched missions too? Alright. Junk. Necklace. Okay. Well, I guess the only way to know more about this game is to keep moving. Both in the same frickin' direction. Ow. I dare you to try to kill me before I can get you first. That'll teach you. He actually cowered a little bit. I kind of feel a little bad. But only a little. <clears throat> oh, okay. The dodge move. Okay, got it. Yeah, there's there's a long I don't story know where to that. Yeah, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil vale without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Hard to dealt with a few of these marauders, not impressed. I heard finding one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Uh... Really? How is he? Shouldn't have done that. Space's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. I don't even know what off-brand is. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Space's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense, I just, you know... Need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Sure. Hmm. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. Yeah. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Yeah. Kill the marauders. Do it for me. <laughs> Well, one of them's fucking dead. <laughs> that 
guy doesn't have anything on him, which is fine. We're just gonna take from Private Kimball. As if nothing happened. Is there anything else up here? No? Alright. Oh yeah, I looted that corpse, didn't I? Aww. It's, it's just a space wolf with scales. Say, so, yeah, how'd that go? Want to talk about uh, Private Kibble over there? No? Okay. All right. <clears throat> Welcome aboard. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Hoarder. <laughs> Landing site discovered. All right, that's cool. Intruders are not authorized to access the un Marauder. Please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. I'm learning stuff. Wouldn't you want me to learn stuff? Uh, let's see. Inspect. I can inspect my little sword. My space is choice sword. My sword. Uh, can I install a mod? No, there's... I ain't got no mods, which is fine. It's, it's whatever. There we go. Repair. Repair this item? Uh, sure. Uh, I'm still at 98, so that's good. Break down some of these extra sabers. I'm good there. Alright. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Uh -huh. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do, self-destruct? I detect an elevated heart rate. Indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Gesture procedures initiated. Please remove the airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three. Am I gonna die? Two, one. Something's supposed to be happening. If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. Uh -huh. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. <coughs> Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive okay. is but a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Okay. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have All right. taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. Sure. The cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, 
as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? The Unreliable. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. <laughs> Alright. Interesting. Like, the computer acknowledged the fact that the dude was dead, but in order for her to function, I had to be... I had to, like, assume this person's identity. Okay. I like where I'm getting at so far. Devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. Sure. <clears throat> so this is now my, my ship. Am I, am I able to get up here? No, I'm on the wrong side. Because I am the smartest person in the world. Just the biggest brain. Want what are you? A brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Oh. Okay. Skill improvements. Yeah, yeah. Kind of getting the gist of this. Persuasion skills are through the roof. I'm just kidding. Intimidate and lie is like really surprisingly high, I say, for the very beginning for level two. Hack, lock, pick, and sneak are also kind of good. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's do let's do that. Companion ability. Oh. Perks. That's cool. Skills. I I did just apply this, right? Oh no. More points. Okay, I got I got skill points. Got it. Yeah, that'll be all right. Defense. Stealth. That's good. Combat dialogue abilities. Dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, you are they are automatically debilitated. Oh, cool, cool. I'll look my uh, not my summary, but uh, perks. Okay, I got one perk available. Costumes of friends but make up for it in bits. I'm healthier in your time outside of stasis. So that gives me more health. Slow the world. Mm. Lone wolf. Cheetah. They're not slow, you're just fast. High maintenance. Take better care of your weapons and armor than most people. Precision. After some unsanctioned adjustments the workbench's site adjustment tool is much more accurate resilient you have a base armor rating which adds to the any armor you wear mm. increase the carry capacity quicken the dead Unlock the ability to fast travel when encumbered. Um, I'll do that one. 
forgot I had to actually apply and accept. These are my derived stats. Okay. Reputation. Neutral on everything. Gonna pretend I went through all of this. Skills and reputations, don't care. Stealth, I like just finding these things out on my own rather than having it all explained to me. So I'm just gonna do it that way. Information to complete a quest as well as change your current look. Blah blah blah. Al algae lagger, gross. The fridge. So okay, I'm already established with a uh, with a with a home base. <laughs> that darts sure is. These are the crew's quarters. Alice preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Yeah, the most unreliable ship Due in the world. Catastrophic power failure. All doors will remain on security lockdown. Awesome. Okay, I guess that means we get to start doing an adventure mating. Say, this <clears throat> wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Well, it is now. You walked in it like it was your ship, and if this ship is yours. Well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. <sighs> I'll wave your fee since you helped us with those marauders. If you're looking for work, talk to the constable down in Edgewater. She's got a bounty on marauders. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Okay. It's my ship now? <laughs> and I'm not about to pay no freaking fee. What do you think I am? Some kind of schmuck who pays fees? It was kind of tempting to tell her where she could stick her fee. Right in between Buell to Chikes. There's an enemy out here. I smelled him with my eyeballs. Oh, I smelled more enemies. Bitch saw me. <laughs> That's okay. Got the bitch. Call me! <laughs> I think he started fleeing. <laughs> Too bad I don't do witnesses. <laughs> and I'm gonna steal all your shit! Oh, that dude's dead as hell. And so is that guy. Where was the other guy I killed? Was that all of them? Damn. I was just starting to have fun. Also, what part of uh, the 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 symbol hope on the back of my suit? You know, what what part of that didn't that guy that chick thing under not understand there? I mean, I'm obviously from somewhere else. I'm not wearing a spacer's choice. I'm not wearing like well, I do have their weapons, but that's beside the point. Pretty. There's goop de goop over there. But what are these? Something pickable? No? Nothing pickable. Are you serious? I. It's fine. It's whatever. Just follow the objective, I guess. Edgewater. This is obviously a uh, spacer's choice place, considering uh, this disturbing icon. This uh, moon with a body. It's weird. It is weird. Very weird. Too, too weird. Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? 
My parents? How about you? What are you on about? You take a bruise through the cranium? Yes. It ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Never got your name. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Oh. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed's Stranger in a strange land. Well, at least you're aware. I'm completely lost. <laughs> Follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Depends on the work. You offer me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. Really? None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Really? It means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Oh. You're making people pay for their own graves? Okay. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad... Ludwig and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Thanks. Where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. Cannery we'll sounds like town. a public restroom. For all except Ludwig, that is. <laughs> by the landing pad. Where's, where's Abernathy's special is. case? Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Okay. Yeah? Uh, have you heard any news about the Hopa? Uh... The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Those great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the aether never to be found again. <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? The hope isn't a rear isn't a rumor, I'm real living proof. Yeah. Alright, easy now. No need to get your hackles up. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Oh, come on. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero-G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop, or there's going to be trouble. Oh, come on. Something I can do for you? Fine. Yeah? Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. Oh, okay. Never mind just looking at what I'm wearing. Like, I'm wearing, like, the Hope uh, Hibernation pet, like, outfit. Like, th does that not ring, like, true to what I'm saying at all? No? Alright, whatever. Getting into Edgewater. <clears throat> I guess it wouldn't be that easy. Hmm? What's my phone on about? Nothing. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm stepping foot in the rift then. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that moon face thing is just terrifying. You know what else is terrifying? <laughs> Majora's Mask. That moon. Ooh. Wish we had some better rations. Oh, goody. Rations. Maintenance division. Ah, home sweet home. What is this? Use terminal? Okay. Doesn't look like anything that matters. That's not considered stealing, is it? Is this the power armor rack? Please say yes. <laughs> Dehydrated water tablets? What? Water without the hydrogen or oxygen. Mock apple cider. Okay. Just says take. It doesn't say steal. So I'm under the assumption that I'm not stealing. This one does not like Spacer's Choice. <laughs> Alright, the cannery. Is this where I need to be? It sure is. Yeah, what's this all about? For the future, these computers suck. Okay, that's stealing. What's in here? Tossball card. Uh, it doesn't say anything about it being super valuable, so I'm not even going to care. Okay, <clears throat> let's use this bad boy, see where this takes me. I like this music. The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Toxin, sir. You asked why it's taken so long to fix, and the answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. Mm -hmm. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Yep, don't worry. Uh... Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. Uh huh. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Saltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Seems we've got a guest. Yes. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You read, I was told I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Because I don't have a job. Don't work for Spacer's Choice. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. Mm -hmm. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. That would be very helpful. Thank you. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. Uh-huh. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the Kay. geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but 
There are people who live there. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. Uh -huh. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. I will. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Okay. <clears throat> My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Okay. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Okay. That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Let's get going. In a companion. Cool. So let's talk about them journals. Wrong button. Okay. Um. I'm at the cannery right now, so I should talk to Phyllis about the gravesite fees. Read corporate guards. All right, Bavardi, come on with me. I don't know what I am doing. There's a very real chance that Pavari could die if I fuck up. Hey, ma'am, can we talk? Sorry. Can sure. We sure. Sorry. I. You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just. Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. I figured. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. Mm -hmm. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Friends or what? I don't know anybody well. I mostly listen to them talk, get my head down. Uh -huh. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident.
Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. Uh -huh. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Can't say as I know, I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt, if you can get out to her. Life's hard here, especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Oh, for Mr. sure. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Sure, I can get behind that, I guess. Exhausting all other possible options, right? Sorry, I'll just be a minute. So what's this what's this marker about? Oh, Vicar. Okay. Cool. Let's let's talk to this uh Vicar fellow. I've always felt weird in here. Spooky, cold. You know, you read my mind. No one's gonna ask about my spacesuit. Hey, Mr. Guy. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Mm -hmm. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort of prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Mm -hmm. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's toss ball predictions. The quickest way out of town. <laughs> but what? I, I thought you would talk to him. Nah. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so brave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? <sighs> Cut power to the deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Damn it. So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Not if things are left to stand as they are. Uh -huh. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Figures. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. I 
just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. You make a compelling argument. Glad we see eye to eye. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Sure. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Okay, so keeping everybody together. That's what we're going to do. All right, we're going to we're going to do this. We're going to find the heretical texts. And let me guess. It's probably slogan writings for a competitor, a competing business. I am putting money on that. All right, to the Emerald Vale. <clears throat> Don't know what I'm doing. Completely blind. But I'm just going to collect all the missions and do them one by one. Hopefully not getting this companion killed in the process. Speaking of which, can I, like... Can I, like... Prioritize missions? Okay, just like that. Small grave matter. Uh, no, not that one. Illustrated manual. Alright. Oh, wait. That's the... Com ah, damn it. Wrong button. Again. Last possessed by a book like... Okay, yeah, that's the one. Why did I think that that was for my companion? I'm, I'm dumb. Alright. Is there a way I can see the map? No biggie. I'll figure it out. Eventually. Ooh. Live right next to a volcano. That's always worked out. <laughs> yeah. I fucked that dude up. Examine. Oh, not that that mattered. That that thing killed himself. Kind of funny, actually. Not really into the idea of uh, sneaking too awful much, but damaged mechanical sentry. How damaged are we talking here? Searching for a repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Go ahead. Yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the clerk. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, new by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the way. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Be more careful out there, Jeremy. Cool. I did a good deed, kind of. More like told her, go ahead and do the good deed. Because apparently I don't have the engineering skill to fix them my damn self. Like, I couldn't figure out how to, uh, read, attach, like, a, like a navigation module. Can I punch this tree? I'm pissed. <laughs> eh. <laughs> That's not exactly... Punching trees. I want to build a house. <laughs> Collector's domicile. All right, this might get a little on the tricky side. Marauders. Shit. About to get seen. Come on.
Oh shit. Uh, oh shit. Well, I pressed the wrong button to heal myself. Oh, thank you, uh, Zero Sacrifice. Well, I pressed the wrong button to heal myself like a smart person does. Yeah, kind of expected that to happen. As soon as I saw the, uh, oh, damn it. As soon as I saw the, uh, multiple things pop up, I'm like, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. And now I have to do this shit all over again. God damn it. I'm smart. Just the smartest. I, I live and breathe intelligence. Don't you know? Uh, this, no, this, no, this. Alright, gonna redo that good deed thing. Searching for repair bay, error, navigation systems failed. I can't skip Unable it. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Think for yourself, woman. Yeah, Just go ahead. <laughs> His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, new by SpaceX Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the way. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Be more careful out there, Jeremy. I gonna go ahead and uh I'm gonna try to save my game which is a new save there we go. Let's resume. okay let's go ahead and not kill myself wow I can really just run for a while can't I Fuck. There's a boom boom right there. And that's the heal button. Oh, I see now. Fuck. That was behind me. I killed myself again. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, not set them off. But apparently I'm not good at this. <laughs> Trying not to set them off. Okay, new idea. New idea. I'm going to uh, shoot them instead. And that probably will work about as well as I would expect it to. Why am I going over there anyways? That's not the mission I set for myself. Oh. That's right. Let's go ahead and just do this instead. Yes. He was a smart woman. Okay.
don't know how in the world I'm going to manage killing this dude. I guess that's how. Save right. Yes, override. Okay. <laughs> I murdered that dude. Alright. Gonna try going around the other way and see what happens if I go over there. Got a weapon mod. Install mods at a workbench to upgrade your weapons. Changing the damage type, adding a scope, improving the rate of fire, and more. Cool. Cool. Oh, shit. Where do you move? Perhaps they had, uh... Yeah, they, they noticed that there's a dead body. Alright, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Don't investigate further, little doggy. He's investigating. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Well, I got caught. <laughs> Friendo, what are you doing? Jeepus Christal, woman, get yourself checked. There a way I can, like, fix her? Or is my medicinal skill not that good? I hope, I hope she recovers. Hey, hey. Something you need? Do you need repairs? Perception. That's on account of how I never met her. Oh. It's hard to miss what you never knew. I don't ponder it over much. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting mechanical computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Well, I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high level stuff. Yeah, I never did good Dad math. Raised me on his time and hers. Back to my comfort zone with the whip and the one handed. New skill points available? I will be sure to check that. In just a moment. Jeweled rings just sitting out in the open. Cool. That's a dead bitch. Alright. I think I handled that about as good as I could have. Let's be honest. Booby trap. 
No. People. Toilet. And what is that? Skin tough salve. Oh. <laughs> what does that it? Whatever that is, I picked it up. It, it decided to not tell me. Food, light ammo, plain and pure water. Cool, cool. I. You will find me looting everything that's not nailed to the fucking ground. That's just how I am. Weapon parts. I do not have the means to hack this. That sucks. Only because I don't have the parts. Alright. <clears throat> Going to go ahead and do some saving. I don't know if you're able to notice, but my drifting still happens here in this game. Not as noticeable as in Slime Rancher, but, uh, I noticed. <laughs> Two hour energy brew? Alright. Gourmet, uh, fish fillets. That's probably not actually fish in there. Yeah. Messages. Not that, that matters. Alright, let's find some heretical texts. Did I, did I get it? Maybe I should be actually, like, reading this stuff, but... I'm kind of too interested to be reading right now. Just like, ooh, things! I, I must find more things! Is this the shower? Yes, it is. Ooh, that's actually nice! And a toilet right there. Oh, a toilet paper dispenser right in the path of water? Alright, I don't very much approve of the toilet being in the same space, but it's whatever, I guess. So, I got the thing? I'm assuming I got the thing. This looks nice. Looks like this was a means to avoid all the all the trouble with the uh, marauders. I could have handled this a more stealthy way, I suppose. But I mean, why do you think this uh, channel is called No Lives Left? I do everything the wrong way, and I get my ass kicked. I deserve it. <laughs> That's this is how I roll. <laughs> this wouldn't be No Lives Left if I didn't do everything absolutely horribly wrong. Alright, um... Yeah, let's do tech. I don't want to put everything in there. No, I'm just I'm kidding. Okay, let's revert. Ah, oh, damn it. I will put some in there. Inspiration. There we go. That's better. I like that. There we go. Snow perks. Reputation. Still on neutral. Pacer's choice whether this employee is competent or not. Neutral to this faction. There's so many factions. Holy hell. Okay. Not a fan of Spacer's choice already, though. But I'd rather not be their enemies. Still don't have the means to open that. Don't know why I have a marker leading me right over to it. Weird, I know. But alright, I got everything I came here for. So I'm assuming... Oh, well, more stuff. When you know it. Even more bodies. 
you know, before I go off in a random direction, which it feels like that's where I'm going. Oh, okay. I had to, okay, I had to search the domicile for the location of the journal. Got it. Would help if I read. I saw that. <laughs> I will prove to be the better uh, sword wielder. <clears throat> Don't you ignore me. You okay? Dude. I sliced that dude. Give me all your shit. Fuck yeah. I putting people in their places by slicing them in half. Is it even possible to get in here? Not that that matters. It doesn't even look like a finished building. Oh, shit. There's dudes over there. I do not want to mess with that. You gotta remember that there are marauders out here. Transport wreckage discovered. Good. Not a peep out of you. I hear the sound of one of them cane cane did things. Clearly, the better sword wielder. Urgh! Eat shit. Let's see how good you are without your foot. <laughs> I am really good at dismembering baddies. <laughs> oh shit, that was extra fun. I bop them on the head with my sword, and their legs come off. <laughs> I, <laughs> I really should just start using this thing. <laughs> Let's be real here. Quest updated the illustrated manual. All right, let's see how good I am wielding a two-handed weapon. A big old blunt object like this. Oh, shit. That is the face of anger. Yeah, I thought so. You always want to have at least one pistol on hand with plenty of ammo. Because you never know. I don't know what this Adreno stuff is, but I'm getting it. It's mine. You move your feet, you lose your sheet. Fuck yeah, give me that. Give me the good shit. Frowned upon by society, boy. But you can see if you want to... If you want to engage in these activities without consequence. Clever. Damn right. Got the illustrated manual. It's mine now. She seemed to have liked it. Now, wh where does this take me? Out of sick curiosity, I must know. Where does this take me? Well, shit. Seems like there's an enemy up here. Does it want me to show them what hell looks like? Hold on. I need to know these things. Alright. I can handle this. This is easy. It'll be fine. Primal Ravager? No, it's not going to be fine. It's actually not going to be fine. I'm not going to touch that shit. It's not for me. 
Have I been seen? Fuck! Fuck! Alright. Oh shit! Girl! Ow! She's dead! I think I might actually want to uh, die. I'm gonna let that happen. I'm not- I don't want her dead. I just don't. I allowed myself death. It's okay. Means I have to resave. I'm gonna go all the way back. Oh, okay. It actually saved that. Thank God. Okay, cool, cool. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. Sorry, Pavardi. Uh, a uh, Pavardi. Parvati. Yeah, I don't want to do that to you. I. I actually don't want you to suffer a horrible, painful death. Okay. So, um, we're gonna, with armed with the information of what happened. We're going to just take the long, slow way around. Alright? Oh yeah, I remember that. Actually... Penny Ledger. That's gear for your friends and family. So it looks like she also has a melee weapon. That's, that's pretty cool. But I don't care enough right now. We're going to go back... To Edgewater, I'm gonna fast travel. I don't know what I'm doing. Go ahead and put this away since I'm out in public. Another day at the cannery. Emerald Vale Vale General Store. Okay. Oh yeah, right. Vicar's over here. Not over here. Over here. <laughs> I'm the best navigator in the world. Hey you, how's it going? Any progress on that matter we discussed? Fuck yeah. Got your book right here. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I wait. What the fuck is this? Is this French? I can't fucking read French. Neither can I. It's a law forsaken joke, is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. What's so important about this book? I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. Uh -huh. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Bocono, the author had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. What's the plan? Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the philosophist school of thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Oh. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. Mm -hmm. They believe Kay. all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but... We've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an I have to say the uh, the truth, no matter where the ability was. to I had the make expressions has greatly improved since Fallout. <laughs> that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, 
where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Could be a beneficial arrangement. You need a ride out of town? I wouldn't mind a ship hand. Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. Cool. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. <laughs> oh, my man, you're That's speaking my language. Now you've got my attention. <laughs> I usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Cool. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Miss Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery and to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Yeah. Your reputation with the faction has changed. If enemies are hostile. But your reputation is bleh, bleh, bleh. It left. A, it left before I could finish looking at that. Do more melee. Yeah. Um. Do some dodge. Persuade. Stealth. Tech. Sure. Let's do one more in there. Time dilation location hints. That was weird. Anyways, um, perks. Reputation. Ah, positive. Cool. So, positive uh, reputation is good. Always good. I don't want to be on anybody's bad side if I can help it. Okay. Um, still fucking lost. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm pretty damn lost. <laughs> Um, small grave matter. Let's see if I can do anything about that. The small grave matter. Um, most of these are within the walls, but I'll take care of the one that's outside of the wall. Seems a little easy. 28th Annual Toss Ball Series. Woo! Interstellar Championship. There's a bitch that lives right outside the city walls. Doesn't seem very wise. Like at all. <clears throat> all right, bitch. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You have um, swung a truncheon. Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. How about no? I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Just my luck. I asked for backup, and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. All right. Listen real close. Auto mechanical. Okay, I'm not that special. <laughs> in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant, clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. Okay, this dude's off the rocker. His cheese slid way off the cracker. He 
he flew over the uh, cuckoo's nest big time. He is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Uh, let you be. You do your thing, buddy. You can stay outside the city walls as much as you like. Let's just go back into Edgewater. Let's just do that really quick. Just... You want to talk about a special case? That Ludwig guy definitely is. Simple folk. I'll give you simple folk, mother trucker. I don't take kindly to being insulted. Twist his arm off and make him eat it. After I've canned it in the cannery. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Oh dear. Oh, uh, did uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Yes, I. Yes, he well, did. Tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow, uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not playing. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Maybe. Cyrus knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching, and soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. Don't say that, Mr. Abernathy. You still got a couple decades in you. I'd steer clear, Miss Holcomb. My affliction's bound to be contagious. It's plague. It has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Law, oh, help me. Paranoia is one of the plague's known symptoms. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelance him for me, I could really use the help. Depends on what you need. A couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. I'll think about it. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. I'm not. Want to talk to me? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. <laughs> Abernathy is nah. a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. Mm -hmm. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't mm -hmm. have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. I'll consider it. That's all I can ask of you. I'll consider it. I'll come back to that when I'm ready to get more, uh, I don't know. When I get more, uh, I guess comfortable with the game. I think that's the word I'm going to use. I'm going to stick to it, too. Alright, <clears throat> let's see the barber shop. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. I'm sure he does. don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Okay, that's cool. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. I disagree. <laughs> I 
I can show you my hands. So everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. You have a very loose definition of the word prosperity. Quality drama. Don't be so hard on yourself. I have to be, if only to prepare myself for my inevitable dressing down at the hands of corporate. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hang on. Medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Not a bad idea, but I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Much obliged. Okay, so that means I have to find something? That he can consider to work as collateral. Silas, where, where, did, where would that take me? Who's Silas? I forgot who Silas is. I strongly dislike the map thingy. All right, let's see where this takes me. I guess. I got no way of finding out. <laughs> Wow, that bug is tiny. Oh, Silas right here. That's the guy. Okay, doi. Don't want to do that just yet, because Silas will probably uh, want those gravesite fees like right away. And he won't be too happy. If I show up empty-handed on uh, Conrad's part, I believe his name is, I'm going to go to Phyllis Granger and see what's uh, up there, and uh, I'll call it after I'm done with this. What's this one all about? Ah. Supervisor in the cannery. Let's we'll see what happens if I. Ah! Glad I didn't take the elevator. Yeah? You the new worker? Whatever. No. Nope. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Oh. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Okay, thanks. Now about that collateral, what am I going to do? Hmm.
So, map. Give me the map. Okay, this is only telling me to go outside and talk to Silas. Okay. If I have no other choice, I guess talking to Silas is the best I can do. Is this the way out? Where am I facing? Okay. Cool. Dead people. Examine. Quest updated a small grave matter. What just got updated? Convince Conrad to pay his gravesite fees. I could if I wanted to be a dick. There's more dead people back here. Tarmac and cheese. What can I do for you? You know about Eugene? How? I walked right past you. Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. Sure, you won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious, this is gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. I'm sure that I have no other choice. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Okay. That's done. I did it. I did it, Ma. I hope you're proud of me. Just talked about digging a dead guy up and pulling his gold teeth out. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> Alright, I'll do it. It's great. It's a good idea. Good idea. <laughs> Man, the, the hypochondriac is, uh... Not today. Just helping this lady. Yeah. Lovely to see you above, Miss Parvati. Things going alright, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, miss. Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Oh. Silas watches over him when I get... When I can't leave the house. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Damn right. About those fees you wanted. Run into any trouble? Uh... He has fees and signatures. I work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. Abernethy was sick with the plague. 
That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. He was convinced he knew. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Yeah. Huh. Suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that actually turned out way better than I expected because I did not want to talk about Eugene. <laughs> For that, that's not my business. <laughs> okay, those two are done. I can do the side quest for Abernathy, but I don't think I wanna. Not yet. Uh, these, I believe, are story missions integral to my quest. I, this one's connected to this one, so I guess that's what I have to do next. But for now, it's a lot to do, and I've spent a lot of time already, so I'm going to end it here for tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you've seen, leave a like, a follow, check out the YouTube channel, No Lives Left, where all of our YouTube stuff gets archived. Be sure to subscribe there as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.